Alright guys, welcome to your second tutorial video of the week. This one is going to be on Office 365 and how to use it to share, store, and work on documents in the cloud. Now in the last video you watched, we created this Office 365 login shortcut. Yours might have an E for the logo and that's fine, or it may have this logo which is the Google Chrome logo. Go ahead and open that up by double clicking and it's going to take us to Office 365. Now I'm going to forget my account so that you can see how to sign in. In this case, you're going to sign in with your student number. And you'll notice it'll redirect you. And then you're going to use your current password to log in. All right, once you sign into Office 365, you should get this particular screen that comes up. Now, you may have less icons than I do, and that's fine because I'm a teacher and you're a student and we have access to different things. But in this case, we're going to click OneDrive. Now, you notice I have a lot of files and different options and folders and different things that are in here, and you may have nothing in here yet at the moment. But we're going to go ahead and walk through how to create a new document in 0365, how to open it in Word or PowerPoint and edit it, how to upload a document into 0365 for save and keeping, and then also how to access documents that are shared with you. Let's start with accessing a, creating a new document inside of 0365. Now you remember in the last video we made a system of folders to store what we've been using for our different classes. I would recommend that you do the same thing here click a new folder, click new, and choose new folder. In this case, I'm going to call it period one social studies. So you can see here's the period one social studies folder and I can click on it to open it up. Now remember, the only reason you would need to create documents in 0365 or Office 365 is if you want to collaborate with another student in your class or in another period on a project you're working together. If it's just an assignment that you're working on yourself, you can store that on your computer or you can also upload it into Office 365 and we'll go through that in a second. But if I want to create a new document, like for example a new PowerPoint, I'm going to click New and then choose PowerPoint. It's going to open up in PowerPoint online. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to rename this file so it matches the naming feature, the naming uh, convention that your school wants you to use. So I'm going to take my mouse right up here to the top and I'm going to type in period one, social studies, American Revolution, and then my last name. Now that file has been named and is stored in the correct name format. Now you can use PowerPoint Online to do several different things, but in this case, let's go ahead and click open in PowerPoint to open it up in full PowerPoint. So what you do is come right up here to the top and you're going to see open in PowerPoint. So I'm going to click that and this protocol request may come up. If it does, click remember my choice and then click launch application. And it may ask you to sign in again. If it does, remember, I'm going to use my ID number, you use your student ID number, to log in at hcps.net, and then use your current password to sign in. And then it should open the file in PowerPoint. Now one of the big things you'll notice here that's changed is up here in the upper left corner, your little save disk that we talked about with Word now has a green cycle of arrows on it. And what that means is that this file will be saved back to the cloud. Okay, It's not going to be saved to a folder on the desktop. If you wanted to save it to a folder on the desktop, you could by going to File, Save, excuse me, File, Save As, choose your computer, and then pick the desktop and go through and save that file that way. However, remember, if you're working on something with another student, that's in the cloud, in Office 365. You're going to want to leave it in the cloud and make sure that when you're working, you click the little save with the two green arrows to save the document. Okay, so I'll title this The American Revolution. Okay, 
and then add a subtitle, the influence of the Enlightenment. Okay, so at this point, what we've got here is we've got uh, you know a couple of things, and let's talk a little bit about some of the options inside of O365 when it comes to uploading documents or sharing with other people. So at this time, we've opened from O365. I can go ahead and save this again and close this out. And now you'll notice that when it refreshes, there's my title saved back into the cloud. To get back to my OneDrive, it's real simple. Up here in the upper corner, there are nine dots. This is called the App Launcher. And we're going to click on the App Launcher and choose OneDrive. So now I'm going to go back to the folder where I saved that document. Here it is, Period 1 Social Studies. I'm going to open that up, and there's the document that I just created. Now you'll notice right here it says Sharing. If I click this, this will allow me to share it with another student. So I'm going to click Invite People. And in this case, I'm going to use one of your 7th grade students. Okay, and you can see, there she is. If I want to say, share this with one of my fellow students, I would put their name in and type their name in. I would choose, can they edit it or can they view it? Now remember, if you want them to work with you, you need to choose can edit. You want to make sure to require sign in. That way they have to sign in to share the document. And then you click share. And now you'll notice that she has access to this file as well. If I need to get rid of her access, I just click the name again. And right here next to her name, I click the drop down and hit stop sharing. I save the changes. And now she no longer has access to that file. Now any files that are shared with you, including class notebooks that come from your teachers, are located over here where it says shared with me. If I click shared with me, these are files that I haven't created, but that all types of other people have created that I can now open up and work in. Your class notebooks that come from your teachers will be here, as well as any files that other students share with you. To get back to your documents, over here on the left, click Documents. Now I mentioned, what if I want to upload a file that I started working on with a uh, in my class by myself that I'm now going to share with other students. Okay, no problem. We just find the folder we want to upload into, period one, social studies. And right here above the list of files, there's a button for upload. We click upload, and now you can see it opens a dialog box for my computer. I can find that folder on the desktop where I saved my files, and then choose the file that I want to upload and then hit open. And you'll notice now it's uploaded and in the cloud. So at this point, what you need to remember is I've got a version in the cloud and I've got a version on the computer. If I want to share this one with another student, I can by using the sharing button. But remember, those changes will not be saved to the one that's on my computer those changes will only be saved to the one that's living inside of Office 365. So if I was to come in here and make a change and hit save, it would only be saved to the one online, not to the one that I originally uploaded. That's a big thing to remember because as you're making changes and working collaboratively with other students, you need to make sure that you're working in the correct one. So if I was working on a file by myself, no problem. I'll use the one on the computer until I'm ready to share it. Then I upload it into Office 365. But then remember, if I want to access it again and make sure that my changes are seen by my partner or by my group, I need to come back into Office 365, click on the file, and then click Edit Document or Open Document and choose Edit in Word or Edit in PowerPoint. Then this will load up that particular file and open up so I can make edits and save it back to the cloud just like I did with my PowerPoint that I was just working on. You'll notice that again I still have the save button with the green arrows which means it's lo loading back to the cloud. Those are the basics of using Office 365. 
to save, share, and collaborate on files together inside of a cloud-based environment. You are going to have a mini assessment to do, so in a second, read the mini assessment, and you're going to have to create a file in Office 365 and share it with one of your friends. Okay guys, welcome to mini assessment number three. To show that you understand how to use with Office 365, what I need you to do is I need you to create a new file in Office 365. Make sure you use the name like we've been showing you to name the file with a specific name, period, you know, your period, the subject, the f assignment that you're working on, and your name. And then I want you to upload it into Office 365. And then I want you to share it with a classmate or a group that your teacher has provided you. Okay. Remember, if you have any questions about how to use Office 365 before you ask your teacher, go back in this video, rewatch the portion um, on what you need to know how to do, whether it's accessing Shared with Me or uploading or creating new documents. And then if you still have problems, have your teacher come over. Okay. To complete mini assessment three, just to remind you, you need to create a file in Office 365, name it correctly, and share it with a partner or group that your teacher has provided you.